Hello friends and welcome to a brand new camera comparison between the iPhone 16 Pro Max and the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. Right now we are recording at 4K at 30 frames per second. Tell me in the comment section below which one do you think has better colors and which one has a better audio. As is tradition on our channel, let's start with a series of samples captured with the main cameras. But first, let me clarify the testing process. Every daylight photo is taken in auto mode, with all AI features disabled. For this comparison, I did not test their full resolution pictures, as I don't consider myself a professional photographer. This video is for the general audience who mainly uses auto mode. The iPhone 16 Pro Max and the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra both have top-notch camera systems, and they produce outstanding images. Each device has its unique style, and there are some differences worth highlighting. The iPhone 16 Pro Max captures images with a more natural color tone that closely resembles real life, while the S24 Ultra offers more vibrant colors. Both approaches are excellent, and it comes down to personal preference. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is typically sharper because its photos default to 24 megapixels, compared to 12 on the S24 Ultra. However, the S24 Ultra is often brighter and its images are always ready for social media. Apple refers to the main lens of the 16 Pro Max as the Fusion Camera, and in my testing, it captures photos much faster than the S24 Ultra. The results are also stunning, as you can see here, the entire image is sharper and more color accurate compared to the slightly washed out colors of the S24 Ultra. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a new and improved ultra-wide camera. Previously, Samsung was always ahead in this category, but I think Apple has finally matched the quality and, in some instances, even surpassed the Galaxy. Once again, the iPhone 16 Pro Max delivers more true-to-life images, while the S24 Ultra offers extremely vibrant photos. Both implementations are impressive, but if we look at other differences, such as sun glare in this example, the iPhone performs better. In challenging situations like this one, the iPhone highlights dimmer areas more effectively than the S24 Ultra, which renders the greenery and the blue athletics track darker. The Galaxy remains more vivid than the iPhone, but personally, I prefer Apple's approach here. This does not mean the S24 Ultra is bad. In fact, it has an excellent ultra-wide camera, delivering great images with plenty of color and dynamic range. Until now, it had been my favorite ultra-wide camera, but it seems it now has to compete with the 16 Pro Max for the top spot. Both devices offer 2x zoom without losing details, and they both perform well in this regard. In this sample, the iPhone is very accurate, while the Samsung is excessively vibrant. The perfect picture, in my view, would lie somewhere in between. At 3x, the S24 Ultra switches to its first telephoto sensor, while the iPhone continues with digital zoom. Although the Galaxy's photo is better, the difference isn't significant. This particular sensor is the weakest on the S24 Ultra, and sadly, it is unlikely to be upgraded in the S25 Ultra. At 5x, both devices switch to their periscope sensors, and here, the iPhone 16 Pro Max captures a sharper image. While the S24 Ultra's periscope camera is one of the best in the industry, in this instance, it does not match the iPhone's quality. The tables turn however at 10x. Now the S24 Ultra is able to retain more details while the iPhone is starting to lose quality. The difference is pretty clear if you focus on the windows of the building. The S24 Ultra is very detailed here. Moving to another place, and just like earlier both are very sharp, but here I prefer the colors of the iPhone 16 Pro Max. I just love how the greenery is perfectly preserved on this device. At 3x the S24 Ultra now is better with its colors being more on par with the iPhone 16 Pro Max. This time we can clearly see the difference between optical and digital zoom. At 5x, with their periscope sensors, the iPhone still appears more detailed, while the plan in the S24 Ultra's image isn't as sharp. Throughout my use this year, I have noticed inconsistencies with the S24 Ultra's periscope sensor and hope to see improvements in the next version. Both ultra-wide cameras have autofocus, enabling them to take great macro photos. The new 48-megapixel ultra-wide camera on the 16 Pro Max significantly outperforms the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra. As you can see here the left picture is sharper and a much larger part of it is in focus. To me this isn't a big bonus since macro pictures aren't as important, but if you take them on daily basis then the iPhone is a better choice for you. When it comes to portraits both devices are simply outstanding. The iPhone 16 Pro Max just like every other iPhone takes incredible portrait shots and the S24 Ultra is by far the best in the Android world. 
In this case, I love them both, and I can't really pick a winner. The iPhone makes my face a bit warmer, while surprisingly the S24 Ultra is a bit more true to life. On the other hand, my hair is natural on the iPhone, while a bit brightened up on the Galaxy. Once again, I love both implementations, but I think the blur is a bit more natural on the iPhone. Portraits taken at 5x are just as stunning, at least on the 16 Pro Max, since my face on the S24 Ultra isn't as detailed as on the iPhone. I also prefer the 16 Pro Max when it comes to skin color, as it reflects my natural appearance, while the Galaxy looks slightly off. When it comes to the front cameras in this sample, both are really good. My face and my hair are sharp on both devices. The iPhone picture is extra contrasty here, while the S24 Ultra is a bit flat. In this other sample, we have totally different results. The iPhone continues to boost the contrast while the S24 Ultra made my face too warm and it looks like it has a filter applied. The sky looks much better on the iPhone 16 Pro Max, and if we combine all factors, I think its picture is better compared to the one taken with the Galaxy. Videos recorded with their main cameras are great on both devices, but let's be honest the iPhone is just unbeatable. Samsung made significant improvements in recent years, but the iPhone is still ahead in terms of colors and dynamic range. I compared them at 4K at 30fps because it is the default option. The Ultra can record up to 8K while the Pro Max up to 4K at 120 frames per second, but those tests are for a different video. Videos recorded with their ultra-wide cameras continue to be very different. Compared to pictures now the iPhone has livelier colors while the colors of the S24 Ultra are too flat. The latter however does a better job by highlighting darker areas, but overall, I think the iPhone still looks better. The field of view is also a bit wider on the 16 Pro Max. The iPhone wins even at 5x. Its colors continue to be nicer, the footage is sharper and the stabilization is superior compared to the S24 Ultra. For videos, there is simply no competition with the 16 Pro Max being the clear winner here. By the way, if you are enjoying the video so far then please consider subscribing to my channel. Moving to low light and from now on every picture is taken with night mode enabled with auto seconds. With this first selfie, I noticed that the iPhone 15 Pro Max is extremely detailed and well lit. To me this is surprising since Apple didn't even mention the front camera at the presentation. The S24 Ultra recovers in the next sample by offering a sharper picture that exceeds the 16 Pro Max, but truth be told I didn't expect the iPhone to be this good since previous generations weren't as good in low light. When it comes to the main cameras in this sample, we can see a big difference. At fist sight the S24 Ultra seems brighter, but if we analyze the images, it becomes evident that it has a lot of reflections that ruin the picture. The iPhone on the other hand, although darker, is doing a much better job with light reflections. What I like about the iPhone is the fact that it doesn't brighten the entire image like the S24 Ultra, but it keeps the shadow areas slightly darker therefore it gives the pictures more of that night scenery. In this other sample, when I saw the results side by side I was shocked since the difference is enormous in favor of the iPhone 16 Pro Max. My face on the S24 Ultra looks very artificial and almost like a painting while the iPhone keeps my natural skin color. There were scenes such as this one where the S24 Ultra was actually better compared to the iPhone 16 Pro Max. This just shows that there isn't a clear winner but truth be told for the most part the iPhone is a bit ahead in quality. The ultra-wide cameras continue to be really good on both phones. These kinds of places where light sources are plentiful, but not too distracting make the devices shine. In this next example however, the iPhone continues to be better compared to the S24 Ultra. Light reflections are a bit more distracting on the Galaxy, that's why here I prefer the iPhone. While the S24 Ultra is brighter in most scenes, just look at the added contrast on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Although darker, I find the iPhone's images more striking compared to the S24 Ultra's flatter ones. When there are people in the frame, the iPhone consistently handles the images better. For example, in this shot, the red colors on the S24 Ultra are excessively bright, making me look quite unnatural. At 2x we can clearly see that the iPhone 16 Pro Max is doing a superior job. I really don't know what is happening with the Galaxy here, because its picture is far behind in quality. Even when using their periscope sensors, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is doing a marvelous job. The difference with the S24 Ultra is honestly enormous. Now, it is worth mentioning that this big difference was only at this scene since in later examples you will see that they are much closer to each other. In this next scene both are really good and almost indistinguishable to each other. I am very impressed by both phones considering that there were barely any light sources here. 
At 3X, the S24 Ultra is much better and the difference with the iPhone 16 Pro Max is much more pronounced compared to daylight. At 5X, I still preferred the S24 Ultra. Its colors are more pleasing for the eyes and the details are much more natural compared to the iPhone, which is over sharpened. In this other 5X sample, however, the tables turn again with the iPhone now being better while the Galaxy is now brighter, but the picture is messy. If we zoom in even further at 10x, both lose in quality, but the S24 Ultra is able to retain more details especially with the trees. I never did a comparison where the winner changes by each scene. Now let's compare some portraits taken with night mode enabled. Here we can see that both are good, but they do differ in colors. The iPhone has a yellow tint while the Galaxy has even warmer colors. Personally, here I like the iPhone a bit more. In the next sample, they are much closer to each other. Both continue to highlight the subject while the background is subtle. In this case, I actually prefer the S24 Ultra because the iPhone continues to have the yellow tone seen in the previous picture. So guys, what do you think? Which was your winner? The iPhone 16 Pro Max has a fantastic camera system and, in some cases, it even exceeds the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, but the latter still continues to be the best in many other samples. For me there isn't a clear winner in this comparison with both devices shining in specific samples. If there is a winner for you then please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.